Hello, welcome. I am Joe Vika. Um, I want to. I know that this video may offend some people, but frankly speaking, I'm not doing this video to offend anybody. Why I'm making this video, or why I want to analyze this video of Ehead, is number one because of many people that must have listened to him and that may because of it to backslide or run away from christianity just like he did number two to correct an impression for those who still remain in our church but they don't know the truth this channel i try as much as i can to stand on the truth because posterity will judge me, God will judge me if I fail to tell you the truth. Before I go further, the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 18, verse 6, it says, Whosoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it will be better for him to have a great mice to hung on his neck. Based on this scripture, please listen to this boy. I will finish up the analysis at the end of this video. Listen to him. In 2014-2015, there was a powerful man of God in Enugu State called Leverem Father Eji Kembakoko. This man has excellency in controlling and compelling crowd when it comes to do with population. In those days, he, he was one of the Leverem Fathers that began many stress that compelled crowd and dominance. In fact, he said, Father, when it comes to and so in 2014 2015 this man manufactured what is called the holy ghost calling card i was in gtc enugu then and so this is how the holy ghost calling card work it is sold for 200 naira and so when you come to the church or when you come to adoration ministry because that time he's made his church is christ the king at the back of shop right enugu and then gtc is opposite shop right so when you come to the church or when you come to adoration ministry this card is sold for two two hundred naira each for Holy Ghost to call you and speak with you two times. And this man compelled the minimum of the people that come to this man adoration in a night, every Friday night is at least 500,000 people. That's the first place I saw what is called human population. And out of these 500,000 people, at least a minimum of 200,000 humans is going to buy this Holy Ghost call card. Now, when you calculate 200,000 people times Holy Ghost call card to 200 Nela each, pay each person. That's 40 million Nela made one night, minimum average, on Holy Ghost call card. As a young, zealous, passionate Christian, I wanted to speak with the Holy Ghost. That appetite was so much at zealous in, my, in me. So I bought two, so that I can speak with the Holy Ghost for good times. And that, they just finished, they just gave us maybe mid-term break. So I bought that uh, two Holy Ghost card and began to head home. When I reached, I announced with my family that I came with a package, the voice of the call of the Holy Ghost. Everybody in the family was expectant. Few days passed, and all of a sudden, the phone call, my phone rang, and it was the, it was the Holy Ghost calling. I screamed, and all the members of my family gathered. Before I answered the call, everybody knelt down around our center table, closed our eyes, and ascended in the realm of the Spirit. The phone was placed on the center table like an ornament a lover just gave his new dear friend. <laughs> As the phone was ringing, all of us ascended. The Holy Ghost is about to speak for us with us one on one for the first time. And so I picked the call. And the voice of the Holy Ghost came in the voice of Mbako. Where I come to you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Are you looking for a job? Malakos. Receive job. That house that is not progressing. I I I I uproot. I uproot. Hey, what's going on? When you get to Noshi, when you get to Noshi, when you get to Noshi, Marabara Barakato Shata, Abam Namo, Abam Namo. Before you know it, my mom. Hey, I take it, receive. Mala, Chateau. Now, no one came to the come too much now at that time. I was in the spirit. Mala, Amen, Amen. And the man was like, 
Watu kusi wemen Malakato Woye kapo na woli ya Woye kapo na woli ya Topia 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 Eke chemia Watu ku Holo ki nato Mwetolu Mwetolu Oye ke sende last dance na mo Hatongi na mo Hatongi na mo The call lasts for about 2 minutes to 3 minutes Everybody in the family The atmosphere was fumigated With the voice of the Holy Spirit And then Papa caught Everybody was so happy But then I went back in the corner And began to think As a critical thinker was it the voice of the Holy Spirit that actually speaks to us? Was that the voice of the Holy Ghost? But as a young secondary school boy, I was actually unable to fathom what happened. Because my mother was trying in her own nervous sense to speak to the man to get the response of the man. It was all in vain. Few years later, it now dawned on me that Levelin Fadambaka drafted a system by which he will record a voice, put it in a, in a computer, and then when when he finished recording he will send uh, to like 1000 2000 people call one time and play the voice record he recorded for 2000 people too with different problem to receive that prayer when i call Reverend father scammers i am not i'm not shadow boxing i am not trying to create a name mm -mm. i am telling you that your Reverend father is a criminal back up with the first Yahoo boy, like you see today, yeah, somebody is saying Yahoo boy is civil. The first Yahoo boy in Enugu state is Mbaka. Quote me anywhere. Mbaka instituted a system by which he will put laptop in his parlor, record a voice, and be playing it to hundred over two, three, four, five thousand Enugu people with different varieties of problems to solve their problem. He's a criminal. He packed millions every every night from it. We are on the if then we think Mbaka was speaking with us direct, like Mbaka was speaking to me, Holy through Holy Ghost. I never know it was a program voice. The same voice is giving me that is looking for finances. The same voice is given to somebody in Parkland UNT Parkland, uh, Parkland Hospital. The same voice is given to somebody that is in America carrying drug. The same voice is given to somebody that have liver cirrhosis. The same voice is given to somebody that is financially broke. The same voice is given to somebody that is his community have no single factory to employ them. The truth of the matter is, the young man makes a vital point, but I only condemn him where he was careless in his utterance. Number one, you don't call somebody that the court has never judged criminal as a criminal. So the young man is being stupidly audacious by calling the Reverend Father Baka criminal. It's wrong. In as much as I am not supporting what Reverend Father Baka did, but it's very wrong of him to call him that name. Number two, he should accord respect to a thought, not just because he's a, a, a priest, but to your elderly. I think he in the grammar you're talking about culture, African culture. It's one of the African culture to respect elders. So for you to call an elder criminal when the court has not called, called him a criminal is disrespectful. So if you are wise in your analysis, whatever you, you want to speak, be mindful of the choice of words you use. He can still portray the same message without insulting anybody. He heard it. I'm talking to you. Number two, um, he said that uh, all reverend fathers are criminals. That is generalizing, and I hate when people generalize. It is very wrong. I know many reverend fathers who have fought and stood their ground, have so many people secretly nobody know about it. So telling me, I know many people that they what they do with God, they spent it in the church. You try the church, help the pain, not need it. And they're still doing many, so you don't know them. So calling all the reverend fathers are criminals, my brother, my small boy, you are talking like a kid, like you are. What about your eloquence? Now, coming to the side of Reverend Father Mbaka, of what he did, remember, he, there are about what the Bible said, the time of ignorance go overdue. It's probably that he must have acted that in, on ignorance. Because I don't think he's doing it today. Because what Reverend Father Mbaka did actually is not biblical. It is not in the Bible. It's not scriptural. It is not ethical. It is wrong. It is tantamount to like scamming people. You can't pay for the Holy Ghost to speak to you. Samuel was a young boy in Shiloh. 
when the mother presented him to the altar. The Bible said he heard the voice of the Lord and ran to Eli. Until Eli, as an old prophet, discovered that the Lord is ministering to him, he said, Please tell him the Lord speak for their servant Eric. So Samuel did not pay any 200 naira to hear that voice of God speaking. So it is wrong for you to pay any money to hear the voice of the Holy Ghost. And it is a recorded voice of Reverend Father Baker. If you listen to that video to the end, the full video on his page, you will hear when he said the more that they were even crying, they wanted to speak with daddy who spoke with them, but they didn't know it's the recorded voice. That's one. Number two, does it mean if someone doesn't have such amount of money, Holy Ghost will no longer speak to him? That is where it is a scam. Why I'm making this decision, this could be what this is one of the reasons why this young man basked them. Now he is not against Christianity to the highest level. He doesn't believe in anything. He's just a free man. He's just a neutral man. Who survived by being neutral? He said God does not exist. This one said God God does not exist. That is an African man, woman be that Fat Thompson, he said that God is. He said that your government is your your God. Government is your God. That is rubbish. That is arrant nonsense. That can you say your government is your God? I heard him preaching that who know their God shall do exploit, and your government is your God. That is high level of stupidity on the side of this young boy. He said that's nothing like miracle. But my brother, that is miracle. Recently, a young lady, a, a physically challenged lady with which with uh, crutches, went to Brenjota's uh, vocation. The young lady came back, went to that location to, 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 to watch Brenjota, came back a millionaire. She made not less than to be something million in that location. People transferred it to her account. Cash. Is that on the miracle? Is it the government that did that miracle to that her? If you ask this he here, he will tell you maybe that's why he said God, man is God to man. Yes, man is God to man, but God does the miracle using man. Without God in touching the heart of those people, it, they will not give that one. There is God. So Reverend Father Baza made that mistake in those days. I don't think he's been doing it. So we should not judge him by the past. But the bad past is really bad. It's wrong. It's a scam. I know you may insult me. You may speak whatever, but I'm thinking I'm telling you the truth. And it is only true that we set us free. But Reverend Father Baza didn't do well in this particular That action. And many pastors are doing, many reverend fathers are doing it. They sell olive oil. Somebody will go to market, buy olive oil, 200 naira, those days. I don't know them. Now that Tinibu has scattered everywhere, maybe 500 or 1,000 naira. They will use the olive oil, produce container, plastic container of about 10. They send one bottle, they will pour it in 12 bottles. And each one to pick it is 500 or 1,000. They'll call it Holy Ghost, they call it Blood of Jesus. They call one back to send that oil. Call this one, turn that fire my mother oil, your mother oil. God is why if you touch me, you die oil. Not different name, the same only for a different name. This one, if you, which one do you need? If you need to thunder fire your mother oil, 2,000 naira. If you need to die by fire, 100, 1,000. The same oil you bought in different kind of container and use it to scam people. Many are still doing it today. But woe to you that is making this young one to go astray, misleading them. Today, we have many people claiming you don't know whether they are pastor, you don't know whether they are male Allah. Confuse the generation because of some of the action we pastors, we reverend fathers, we ministers did. These ones are falling a prey. I pray that this message will reach anybody that watching well. Share it with anybody. Let's remove our hands from anything that will bring shame to the name of the Lord. The Lord knows those who are His. Thank you and God bless you. I remain Jovica. See you in my next video. Bye bye. Jovica TV. Boys to reach you with the truth.